All right, so we're reset here to the uh, left side of the pool house structure. You can see there's this three-inch clean-out sticking up. This uh, little cap's been busted off. You see toilet paper hanging off the side like it's been blowing off the top of this thing. Um, so basically, we're going to drop out. We're just going to run up along the left side towards the patio area. Let's get in there. And immediately we drop in and we're underwater. Almost full, basically. So we're running uphill. So we get to about 20 feet. And so we kind of jogged over there. It's like kind of in to run underneath the pool patio. And we'll continue pushing from here. Very likely we're going to have more than one of those bellied areas. We'll continue taking a look. Now I'm not using the primary camera in this case. I'm using the smaller camera due to the opening and uh, also the difficult access carrying the heavy camera back here. So you'll see, the, you'll notice the, the water is not on the bottom of the screen, so bear with me on that. Another bellied area here. Let's see how deep they are. Got another good inch of water there. And also a very long belly in this case, about 20 feet. kind of going through different areas here. The problem with these bellies, especially these longer ones and these deeper ones, is they have a tendency to collect debris and have a higher potential to create blockages in these lines. The toilet paper I see coming out of the clean out, that tells me there probably have been blockages. Now we should have come across another clean-out also. Clean-outs are required every 100 feet of pipe run. I didn't happen to notice anything through here. Yeah. Uh, it looks like there's one here. Just make out an opening up there. So we uh, we may have to track and locate that one to look at the remainder of this line, but we'll just continue for now. harder and harder to push.
coming up on a, on a right elbow. I'm guessing we're probably pretty close back to the main structure. We may be jogging around it in a second the line we just looked at. about the end of the camera run here. So, yeah, we're getting back underwater again. So I'm guessing this last section here is going to be full. Coming back up hill to meet up with that other pipe. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording up the end of my camera push rod. Um, I'll uh, see if I can track and locate that other clean out. If we have to, we can reset there. If not, uh, I'm going to get an idea of the depths of this pipe and depths of that pipe where it comes out of the other structure and uh, but it looks like basically we're running uphill as soon as we come out of the guest house structure and then running back uphill again before we connect up to that other primary line a situation like that might require an ejection system all right so uh, at this point I'm going to wrap up the video portion of the examination um, if for some reason we do more camera work and we'll continue. And that is if uh, we get permission to look at other, the other line by removing a toilet and if we find a clean out for this line. Uh, other than that we'll just be uh, issuing our written report to uh, provide the final findings and recommendations. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.